I guess we get to do a little bit of a mic check and a mic test uh, entering Savannah too. I've cruised through here a bunch of times, posted a couple videos. So, uh, Savannah Dew in Savannah, New York is uh, kind of like a pet project that Robert Conjol uh, put together. He is the dude that owned um, like the Syracuse Mall. We called it the uh, Carousel Mall. I think they call it Destiny. A bunch of other stuff. So he has this land and it just stretches acres and acres and acres and it's uh, kind of like a private hunting reserve and it's a place where uh, people with tons more money than us get together for who knows what uh, I think Uncle Ted, Ted Nugent has spent some time out here there's a bunch of other people but sports people so I could pretty much give it This is pretty sick. The main entrance. This place is so fucking ridiculously cool. Up we go. Alright, so here's another mic test. Uh, on the WR250R, stand up riding now, so I've got zero um, wind protection. I don't feel any buffeting on my helmet. I don't think it's going to affect the microphone, but whatever. I guess we're taking a relatively slow cruise. Yeah, 30 miles an hour. I don't know why I get such a kick out of stuff like that. Not really much to see except for <laughs> fences and posted signs. Welcome to f***ing New York. Hopefully the mic picked that up perfectly.
there's about 40 miles an hour 33 standing up so from seated at about 40 whatever miles an hour that is pretty much the sound we were gonna get uh, wind it to mic through the helmet I've got that uh, Scorpion AT950 helmet. It's a modular flip up front. So kind of no matter what I do, I've got air leaking into the helmet. This is probably the first time I have been here when there weren't those annoying caterpillars. Uh, we call them tent worms up in the trees. They nest, right? And they make these like cotton candy-ish looking nests or cocoons, whatever you want to call them. Then they explode and fucking go all over the place. Things are goddamn disgusting. Attitude adjustment. Sick. That road right there would have been cool to hit, but I do not have my gear on. Pretty much just threw on a protective coat and some gloves to do the mic uh, BS here. Like I said from the start, uh, I can hear nothing but muffledness. So it's very hard in this helmet to uh, figure out I guess levels that I've got to speak at not to mention the fact that the speed probably going to have to slow down the way I talk or no one's gonna understand a goddamn thing I'm saying Here's about 50 miles an hour.
55. I'm going to do a stand up up and over this bridge. And around the corner, standing up. Uh, we're going obviously more than 55 miles an hour. Let's slower down. These places are insanely cool. I do remember I have an asshole behind me. Oh, he's gone now. There he is, way back there. Got a trike. Now oh, here comes Dickhead. is uh, me trying to talk at 75 miles an hour on the WR250R. This is 70 miles an hour on the WR. Mike check 70 miles an hour. Probably sound like absolute monkey balls, but it's worth a sound check. 69 miles an hour, 70. Grab and throttle, 75. Might check at 75 miles an hour, 76. Hello, little cow. I guess that would be a calf, not a cow. So right now we're cruising right along at, let me take it down or not, so there's 65 miles an hour. Sixty-five miles an hour on the dot. I cannot hear much of shit except for wind noise. Exterior wind noise. Everything internally here is muffled as fuck. There's an osprey nest up here. A 
with an osprey inside. Rivers Crossing Campgrounds. Let's knock it down a gear. Stand up and see who's over here. People fishing. Whoever this motherfucker is behind me that seems to like to catch the fuck up and tailgate me is about to get their teeth knocked down their motherfucking throat. This is the exit to the Montezuma trail that I normally do. All right, so we're doing 70, not too bad. Crusting a hill, that's when you want to get over. Side of vehicle, uncommon thing. Notice that fuck stain in the mirror just caught up again. 75 fucking plus miles an hour in the twisties to get rid of that cunt. And he speeds back up on the straightaway. Motherfucking fuck people. I am just getting bombarded by these little bugs.